Hello, Dr. Mishishan here to talk to you about intermittent fasting and weight loss. Intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding is a good tool to use to improve insulin resistance or insulin sensitivity um, and really drive fat loss while maintaining muscle while you're doing a weight loss program. Um, the best sort of eating window is six to eight hours of eating. Um, that was shown the most beneficial and if you're an active person um, working out a lot, 10 to 12 hours is also really beneficial for you. Um, caloric restriction in general doesn't work. Um, it leads to decrease in metabolic rate. So you're actually eating less, but your body gets used to it, and then your metabolic rate goes down. So when you eat again, it'll, kind of, it'll gain that weight back. Um, just to compare um, IF, or intermittent fasting, versus caloric restriction, um, there are a few things. Um, with IF, your insulin levels drop off really quickly. You get into ketosis, so that helps to restore those cells and those receptors to be sensitive to insulin again to have better blood sugar regulation. Um, in caloric restriction, the insulin tapers off pretty slowly, doesn't have a strong effect. Um, in caloric restriction, you have a 2.5 times metabolic slowdown, while in intermittent fasting, you don't get this drop in metabolic speed. Um, in caloric restriction, we do see more muscle loss, and intermittent fasting, we see actually more lean muscle gain. Um, this is counting in if you are getting the, the right amount of calories through that eating window. So you're not just eating in the six to eight windows, a smaller amount of food, you're getting your whole day's value in that restricted time window, and then fasting for that long extended period to get the benefits of ketosis and fasting. We also see with intermittent fasting, you actually get more visceral fat loss. That is the fat around your abdominal cavity, which is more, um, poses more risk for other um, disease, such as heart disease. Um, and with caloric restriction, with caloric restriction, we actually don't see as much visceral fat loss, which this is where we want to lose. Um, a good tool to use when you're doing intermittent fasting is using ketone salts. These are a powder you can use in the morning in your um, sort of wake routine um, that'll push you into ketosis even further and help you with some more energy throughout the day before you get to your first meal, depending on where you place that for your time restricted window. Um, things to note, when you are fasting and doing ketosis, you can experience nausea and headache and important um, nutrients and minerals to support and prevent that is magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Intermittent fasting is also a great um, plan for someone who's really busy. If you, you know, can't seem to get that breakfast meal in any way, but you're already grabbing something like toast or a donut or a croissant or even just one egg in the morning, this might be a good way for you to improve your insulin sensitivity, gain more lean muscle, lose visceral fat while reducing the stress of another meal. Instead, you can have your you know, coffee with your MCT oil or ghee in it or your ketone salt and then have your first meal be lunch and then dinner. People often ask me if there is an issue with hunger while doing intermittent fasting and it can be a big barrier to following the plan all the way, um, but there are many ways to combat that and to deal with hunger um, and really improve our satiation and hunger signals while doing intermittent fasting. So to summarize, intermittent fasting is eating in a time-restricted window throughout the day and then fasting overnight to get a good benefit of that ketosis and fasting state um, can really help with improving insulin sensitivity, losing fat, specifically visceral abdominal fat, the bad fat right here, and improving uh, lean muscle gain.